this one's a little bit of a conundrum, right? I think he's just found his footing with Jury the last couple of months, okay. I believe. Okay. But he's also had like a couple of moments on his stream where he would play with Cammy. But as it stands right now, when we were watching some of his matches on stream over at Capcom Fighters Japan, he'd been rocking out with Jury the whole way through. Okay. All right. And yeah, I mean that's a great character for him to pick. I mean, look at look at his look at his uh, jersey color there, even matching with the purple and the School white, fish, right? Yes, so sir. Team Gilgan. There you go. So he's got that there. So, but again, two characters here. Uh, you know, it's interesting. Jury is one of those characters that you know when it started out, everybody was talking about Jury. Like clearly, one of the strongest characters in the game. Strong, strong, and easily in the top five contention. I think, right. You know, and, and and since then, I feel like she's kind of maybe kind of fell a little bit as other characters and it's not that jury got worse or, or exposed it's just that the characters we got developed we think. got better at dj we got better at luke we got better at jp mm -hmm. we got better at cammy you know all these other characters got stronger and stronger and uh it's great to see i mean obviously mago here there's also uh, other capcom cup i think uma qualified has he qualified for uh Blues? capcom cup i have to check, so, out, yeah. check, out the, check out the list again but there's a lot of strong juries out there and i'm excited to see what jury can bring to the table here with this character mm -hmm. and it's actually really cool to to highlight both of these players as well not just with where they're at in the top 16 but looking at their accolades against the other players you know joshi took down kakadu two to one <laughs> oh, wow actually he's the one who eliminated Kaku. yeah and i've always said that i mean I, I i never felt like like jp doesn't bother me as much because i'm a kim player because mm -hmm. i always feel like kimberly and jp is actually a pretty even matchup i don't know if that's what jackie or jashi actually used against kakadu because he does have a jp as well but i can't imagine you would go for the jp mirror match against kakadu right but you know i don't know that i actually didn't get to see what that matchup was like because they didn't showcase it right right so if anybody out there knows, just let us know. I would uh, love to see the CFN on that. I yeah. would love to see the CFN record. I know a lot of the folks that have been highlighting a lot of the Japanese players on Twitter. Please feel free to tag us both. We'd love to know whether or not he actually utilized yeah. Kim in that JP matchup against Kakadu. On the other hand, though, Mago-san, he has been on a tirade over <laughs> in Street Fighter League Japan, actually. He's been getting a lot of points for himself towards the very, very end with that jury play. He took down Bonchan. Yeah. St. Paul is favorite to win it all today, uh, or at least this weekend. Took down Kichipamu as yeah. well, a very close mm. two to one. Yeah, so uh, again, and, and you know, uh, for Jackie as well, also took out Nishiken earlier That's as right, well. That's right, yes. A uh, Blanca player, obviously. and I Used mean, the Blanca Chan outfit in his stream. <laughs> I mean, Actually, it's not, matches this I mean, didn't they say, I mean, they even said on their blog that they tried to make sure that Blanca Chan would not be banned this time. Like, we oh. wouldn't ban the, and, ban the outfit like we did in five, yeah. right? So That's good. I love yeah. that they're doing it justice because I think that was the funniest outfit for him. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, In terms yeah. of like what, uh -huh, what he was uh -huh. doing in the lore, I'm like, dude, this is, cool. this is appropriate. But anyways. Yeah. Now, this is an interesting matchup here because uh, honestly, uh, the low fireball, obviously the, the, the fireball that Jury has really can cause uh, Kim a lot of problems because she doesn't have good ways to get over it. <laughs> Like, you would think forward heavy kick would be really good, but that thing stays on the ground for 10 years, so. Interesting, okay. Yeah, but here we go. Yep, that's a good meaty overhead right there, but there's the check. And yeah, you have to be careful nowadays. People are starting to get wise of the multiple lights with the perfect parries, speaking of. And you know, Kimberly, nice wa cross -cut. Kimberly wants to put pressure on Jury in the corner with the can, because even if Jury wakes up with the ODDP, Kim gets a combo off of that because she'll land on the cannon. Kim actually recovers mm -hmm. in time to, to, to keep a combo going. So far, I like the defense from Mago, not taking any damage in that corner whatsoever. A little bit of damage to the drive gauge, but he's totally fine. Oh. Finds that escape, and now that four throw could have been the end of round one. Oh. Just catching with the elbow. That fierce was <laughs> malicious. What and was going to be behind? But it wasn't meaty. Mago somehow got hit out of the yeah, air, which yeah. is crazy. Oh, yeah, that's safe, but minus. Oh, what? Here we go, here we go. Unfortunately, it's burned out, but he's going to go into the level that's three. so smooth, man. That is actually oh. the best opportunity to use it, in my opinion. What a way to set yourself up, yo, Jashi. I'm going to stick it with Jackie, actually. We're going to we're gonna do that. Okay, okay, we're gonna do okay. That. You've been saying Jackie. I've been saying like three different pronunciations. <laughs> I'm sticking with Jackie. My apologies. All right. Now, charged up here. <laughs> As I like to bitterly say, that means Kimmy gets a speed buff and normal damage now. Normal so. damage. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, I saw the Jamie play. We understand. Yep, exactly. Oh, oh, but it wasn't a punish counter on that throw. Oh, God, that big the confirm. <laughs> That's the second sequence you've seen Mago get that big confirm off of the low forward. Now it's Feng Shui fun time. Okay, so he just goes for the safe jump set up there. Cross wow, cut again. what so deep, beautiful cross cut. Now that does mean that Jackie gets out of the corner. Yep, that's gonna be a knockdown when chained into. And again, these players have all been so ready to interrupt any cancel into runs. And again, she cannot cancel into anything to fake it. She can't go into the teleport. She can't go into Vagabond Edge or anything. As soon as you see her cancel, you got that ODDB there. Immediately going for the charge, he dashed up forward, drive rush after, Mago hitting that level one was everything. Punish counter against the sweet forward throw now, gets to dash up, do it again yeah. for plus positioning. The drive rush trying to beat something out yeah, against man. Jackie. Really good. Just interrupting, gets the hit. Not going to be quite set up for the kill, didn't have a way to convert, but this one will. And there you go, the problem with Kimberly, when she gets put into the corner, it is so difficult for her to break out of that situation. Yeah. Stubby buttons in particular, not just the fact that she doesn't have the ODDP. And I mean, I like the I like the stubbiness of her normals if it comes to like a counter poke game, right? We yeah. saw the anticipation of the drive rush, except Mago was two steps ahead. He did a drive rush forward and very early standing mm -hmm. medium kick mm -hmm. is what caught him, right? So it was a great idea coming in from Jackie, but Mago, again, two steps ahead. And it's the switch up to the <laughs> JP. There's the other half. Yep. And, you know, that's one of the beautiful things about having a drive rush with multiple hit moves oh. is the amount of active frames. That's why Jamie's dr drive rush and the heavy punch is so frightening as well because it's just active frames for days. So that standing medium kick from Jury is a really strong drive rush button. Ooh, good parries, but just going to get tossed now. Above him. Still in time to get the parry. Mm -hmm. Mago trying to sneak a couple of things in before his time to block back throws everything now. No, but still oh, Jackie just gets himself out of the corner off of a normal jump. Yeah, and that was a punish counter, so yeah, he could not block in time. Really surprised by that. Wow! wow. I didn't know which way DD. I say he was just hugging the corner. Yeah, <laughs> right? You. Yep. You don't have to guess that way. Ooh. Man, the low forward, catching the drive rush right out the, right out the gate. Wow, raw level two. And yes. Oh, and the parry jumps out, but he tried to go for a throw, but Jackie was just a little too far. So here we go. Gonna get some decent damage. Actually sets up the departure and then gets the juggle off of the spike afterwards. The stalactite. I do enjoy that option from Jackie to go for the setup instead of trying to just like get as much damage as he mm -hmm. can off of the combo. That was really, really smart. Like, wait, not sacrificing current damage for future damage, and it worked out. And here we go. Yeah, the, what a conversion, so dude. Far. It's such Ooh. a wild hurtbox on that, or hitbox on that thing as well. That cross medium punch is everything for that extension and to jump low. But no, it caught Molly Pouchy. Yeah. Jackie looking strong here. If he takes this, he's going to tie it up one to one on this character change. Yeah, you got to worry about the, the spike triggering out. And now you got to worry about this level two. Oh, what defense. Yeah. Did you even manage to tech the throw in there? Oh, too far away for the whip punish on that shimmy. And so here we go. Mago now with a huge chance, but just gets thrown on wake up. No way. That hit. <laughs> just do it. Mago. This is gonna be big damage here thanks to the critical art. This last kick doesn't do too much damage, but it's gonna set him up. Oh my God, that could have been everything for Jackie to get that air to that's air for him. That's a punish counter. Mago stays in match point territory. Yeah, Jackie right there trying to perfect parry that jump in and Mago instead empty jumping, getting the throw, but what a great start for Jackie here. Oh, it's the dive kick missed. It's too close, so it just went right over his head. And unfortunately too late to actually get a punish from Jackie. He did attempt to cross the medium punch, but I don't know if it's because of the recovery of the whip cross heavy punch or not. But I like the aggression now from Jackie, uh -huh. the perfect parry. Eventually was going to come out. Mago's defense has been hell. Oh, right back at you. And interesting, he's going to go into the level two, so it's going to be a lot of scale. But yeah, it sets up the side switch. Yes, you can do it again. Oh, Look at not the damage right, not to burn out. And yeah, that's why Mago's just he's taking so the hits because he's so scared of getting burned out. And he just goes into the stream bug, and I don't know what Mago tried to go for, but he just gets hit by I it. I think it was movement. I think he tried to jump out. Yeah, light punch. The only thing I could think about. Into stream bog, into light stream bog is a frame trap sequence, basically. So if you try to hit any butt there, oh, he missed it. He missed the combo. 
Oh, what, what an interruption. Yeah. An amazing check from Jackie does have the departure. Oh, even more pressure. That trade could have been everything for Jackie. I think he could have got something more out of that. I that feel was like it. Counter. Yeah. I feel like it. Oh, God. Maybe the distance is too far, perhaps. Oh, no. What right. happened to that drive rush? Like, the, the drive rush accidentally messed up uh, Mago's timing on his button after the dash or something. Oh, a lot of wasteful uh, ODs coming out from, from Jackie. Oh. Not, too Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Still able to, to get the rest of it. Now looking at Matt Point himself. Yeah, that was that down forward heavy punch. Look at that at such close range. That would have been a huge punish if Mago managed to block it. What about the Boogeyman again? Nice. There's that counter poke with that light into the three box. Catching the drive rush at the start, but again is Mago. Got a mileage off of this low medium kid. That was a perfect carry. Jump. I love that. Uh oh, that was a throw. This is going to be huge damage. He built up the level three, but he drops the combo. Uh, I don't know about all that. That could have been a sequence into level three. That could have been a lot more drive gauge for you, a lot of damage for you uh, as well. But it's one totally fine. hit into level three would be able to kill at this point. So we have to be so careful of your Mago at this point. This is loser's side. Oh, what a perfect berry, and he's good. What? Nothing. Nothing after that standing heavy punch. Oh, he burned himself out. Oh, it's time for level two. Okay, yeah, perfect parry. Parry through those. The oh. defense is there. Mago does get a trade off as well. No! It's all under pressure. He tried to anti-air with an uppercut, but it wasn't the cross cut that he was so successful with. Instead, it's just a normal one towards the other oh. way. It's Mago mistiming that uppercut, unfortunately. But it's better for Jackie. Two to one, another body, another legend under his name. Yeah, Kakeru Nishiken, the only person he lost to was Tokido uh, in the bracket earlier on the winner's side. Again, like I said, everybody was on the winner's side here of the top 32. So he tried the Kimberly at first and, you know, nice valiant effort over here. But like I said, a little bit of a tricky matchup. Even though Mago really didn't abuse the, the Fuhajin fireball mm -hmm. much at all, he was just able to just punish all of the runs you see right there every time Jackie went into a rush. Uh, so he said, you know what? I'm going to go the exact opposite direction. What an interesting pair of characters to use. Mm -hmm. You have the ultimate rushdown character and, you know, I mean. The ultimate character. Yeah. I was about to <laughs> say. I'll say it about, for you, yeah, James. I was about to say, you know what? I can't call him not a rushdown character. But again, that He's a right zoner. there, He's what happened? Zoner, asterisk, <laughs> that's what it is. That's, oh, that's so unfortunate too. He's the he's the Street Fighter V Dalsum kind of zoner, basically. Ah right? man, yeah. I'm not even gonna get into the logistics <laughs> of that. I feel like it's too much of uh, too much brain power this uh, <sighs> this stage of the game for me. But it's Jackie's gonna be moving on his prize while he has to face off against Itabashi Zangief, Ooh. either Kim or JP versus the Marisa or the Zangief. Right, mm -hmm. so yeah. we'll see that play out. But instead, it's gonna be Nauman. Oh my God, <laughs> Nauman versus Yamaguchi Ken versus DJ. Woo. Yeah, and again, now.